That is what we're fishing with today, guys. Cow tongue. Never used it before, but it looks like something fish are gonna eat, so let's get it out there. I'm gonna introduce you to the camera if you don't mind. All right, guys, so I'm out here with Jack today and both of us are throwing big chunks of this cow tongue. I'm assuming cow tongue, like any meat, is gonna attract certain fish. And since this is kind of my go-to place for a big blue catfish, that is what I'm hoping we're about to get. But let's get the baits in the water to find out. Best fish I ever hooked in here, or ever caught. Um, I don't know if it's the best fish ever hooked. Best, best fish ever caught was about 70 pounds worth of alligator gar, and he took right next to the bank. I find it, it's really not as necessary now that the alligator guard don't bite as much, um, but normally I'll fish with the, the bale open or the spool open. Oh. So if a guard grabs it and they start moving, you won't hit that resistance and okay. cause them to drop it. say to land these normally for the small ones I'll just kind of edge down the concrete the big ones we got to find like a staircase again or there's like a giant crevice over there I was gonna say I'll I'll go because I'm hands-free okay. it's the work no to hold on to that yeah. the worst thing is when you've got a rod in one hand and you slip yeah. oh no he unhooked himself It's good to see this fish out here. He's choking himself on the size of the bait. There we go. All right, one of those, but five times the size. Oh, not not that long. What I've found with this area is the more, the faster and the longer they start trying to run with it, generally that's gonna be the bigger catfish in here. Yeah, the little ones, they'll dive right down for the cover, but the big ones, they just go off. As we have another run, we've gotten several, but they keep getting dropped, so small fish. I see the float. Just give it a second, because these are large baits. If it's a Want to make sure the fish has a chance to get it in his mouth. Okay, he's still on. He's changing directions on us. This does not feel like a big fish to me. Look at this massive snag. Just mountains of garbage down there. There is a drop off on the other side. The trick is casting to it. You can approach it obviously from the other bank, but there's features on both sides that are worth casting from. So I picked this side today. So this is the challenge that I get. One side is not better than the other. They both have good things about them. So I've hung up on a shopping cart you guys can see right there good thing is I can can see it also if I fall in right here it's only a foot or two deep thanks to the giant piles of sludge this wind is not making this easy it keeps blowing it on the wrong side of the thing There we go, I want it on that side. There we go, boom, got it. Oh, Lord. Really, how did that go? <laughs> that is not an animal I'd want to tangle with hand to hand. Even if you look out of there, you can get around, get a staff infection or something. 
All right. Yeah, this should do. So uh, you can see all the snags in this little bit a lot better. So hopefully we can find something hungry over here. Oh, there we go. Give him a second. Still on. There we go. There's a fish. No, I'm going to try to unhook him down here. Right. That's not bad. It's not a bad fish at all. Hold still, buddy. There we go. Nice fish. Got the bait back too, which is nice. All right, that's encouraging. All right, cow tongue does not make the best fishing bait. I went to multiple locations over the course of several days, could not get fish to bite, minus the ones you saw in the video. So there's just something about it. It's a tough bait, it holds together well, uh, but it just does not have enough juices, doesn't have enough blood, oil, scent to it, whatever. Something about it the fish don't like. So change of plans. So this year, I think I'm gonna try to make a shift a little bit, try to catch much bigger fish on average, kind of focus this channel on big fish more saltwater, more kayak, and more out of state. Also, I have uh, some plans I'm working on to hopefully work with some other YouTubers, which is something I haven't done a whole lot of, and I wanna do that more. Spent some good money on really nice gear, picking up a very nice fishing kayak tomorrow. Much, much better than the one I've used. I mean, this is a nice one. Obviously, I'm still gonna be catching alligator gar. Those are my fish. But uh, we've got some good stuff in the works. The cow tongue experiment didn't work the way I planned, but hopefully the stuff we're working on now is going to pan out in a big way. So let me know what you guys want to see more of. Subscribe, hit the bell. Make sure the notifications are set to all. I get a lot of people that message me asking when I'm uploading, even though I like did that day or the day before. If you want all the notifications, make sure you hit like set that bell to, to receive all. Check out the link in the description for the Patreon and check out the link in the description for our apparel sponsor, Tribor Outdoors. Uh, the Alligator Gar shirt I was wearing is one of the many products you can get off that website. So definitely check that out. And let me know what you think about this setup. Is this gonna handle the big ones? This beautiful Avid LX 6.0 on the Catch the Fever, Big Cat Fever rod, heavy action. I had to step away from that spot. The air conditioning unit kicked on and drowned me out. But we're going to be using this a lot. I think it's going to be really good for big saltwater and big freshwater fish. Kind of a do-it-all rod. I'm very excited. We have big, big plans underway. So let me know what you guys want to see more of. We're going back to Miami soon. If you got some tips or requests on big fish you want to see caught out of the Florida, the southern Florida area, let me know. All right. Time to edit this video. I'll catch you guys later.